Partners Journal. This is part two of making a Baltic birch segmented bowl with black walnut trim. Um, in this video, we're going to be taking uh, what we glued up last time to the lathe and actually shaping it, sanding, and then finishing. Um, so, let's get started. All right, well, here we are. Um, I got everything glued up, but I'm a bit of a Momo. I made the outside black walnut accent way too big. Um, I originally made it, um, as you saw earlier, and they were smaller, but then I thought, oh, I would like a nice lip on here, so I wanted to remake it, and I wasn't thinking, and I made them way too big. Uh, so, kind of a big deal, because this is Baltic Birch. I don't know how strong it is, so... I want to try to turn this down to the right size and get rid of all this extra weight because I, I trust my glue joints. I just don't trust the actual plywood to actually hold. I'm afraid of it snapping. So I have this on the lowest speed and I'm going to try to trim this down as slow as possible and try to make it an equal balance of weight. So let's get in there. Let's give it a shot. So here we are, we're mounted up. Um, I have it on the slowest speed. I put on thicker clothes in case this thing breaks and gets thrown back at me. I'll admit I'm a little worried. And we're gonna start, I'm just gonna start with my roughing gouge and try to take off some of this extra meat here. Let's go. is a little far out. It doesn't want to lock. To do this, I'm going to take my parting tool and I'm just going to try to cut kind of a ring off of this just, just to do it quickly. So I'm going to start shaping this and I'm going to start with my bowl gouge. Um, I'm trying to put the camera in as close as possible so you can see what I'm doing, but um, I may have to move it. it. It's kind of really close to where I need to work, but we'll see. Oh, and I turned up the speed. I'm about uh, uh, halfway as fast as this thing could go. Um, mine's just a belt drive, so unfortunately I can't tell you how many RPMs but um, it's pretty quick. Let's just go.
as you can see, I'm just trying to get a basic shape here because there's real thick edges. I'm not sure if you can see. So I'm trying to eliminate that and kind of smooth it out. Just gently though, because like I said, I don't really want any catches. If it catches on me, you know, I'm afraid it may uh, shatter and break. So it's a little bit scary. So like I said, I'm just gently trying to get rid of these ridges and everything. Once I said, I'm just using my bowl gouge. Let's get back to it. Like that. Wants to catch there the green. We can fix that. I think I got past that weird spot in the wood. I don't know what it was. Wanted to catch there. So back to what I was doing, smoothing this out, kind of shaping it.
rest came loose. to a scraper just trying to smooth it out now catch here really messed it up that's what I was worried about but I think I could still fix that worst case scenario I have to cut it off here and get another uh, piece of black walnut mounted on there but I think I could fix it so same as before I'm just going to use my bowl gouge and then just kind of try to gently shape the inside of this. And I really have to watch for catches. 
I mean, you catch on the, uh, the plywood and this thing's going to explode on me. So, like I said, I'm still paranoid about it, but let's, let's go forth. I switched my tool rest, still on the bowl gouge, and still just smoothing all these edges. I'm just gently, gently smoothing them out. We're almost there. I just got a little lip right here. I may round this out a little bit more.
going to skip to a scraper. Actually, I'm going to round this, like I said, and then I'm going to skip to a scraper and start smoothing that inside. So as you can see, I took out a real nasty chunk out of my recess here. I caught, I don't know, all this, all this grain here, it's uh, kind of end grain, but for some reason, it kept on wanting to catch on me right in this area. So I took out a chunk, not a big deal. I'm going to cut off my recess, and then I have another piece of black walnut, which I'm going to mount and glue right there and we'll do it over so easy fix thank god it didn't shatter in the middle here that would have been a real issue okay here we are we're all glued up solid i'm just going to use my parting tool to round it off really fast take off the edges and then i'm going to use my scraper to smooth it out so I'm going to sta start sanding the inside and outside I'm going to go from a hundred grit to 220 then 320 and I'm gonna try something different because this is so porous all this uh, plywood this Baltic birch plywood is very porous so I saw somebody else do this online and I'm gonna try it I'm going to sand the 320 put down a, a lot of tongue oil in there let it sop it up then I'm going to sand with 320 again. I'm going to put another coat of tongue oil. And then I'm going to go and start, after it dries, I'm going to go from uh, sanding up all the way up to 600 from there. And then we're going to, then I'll put my uh, polyurethane tongue oil mix. Um, I'll probably do um, three coats or so of that and then finish a coat of wax on it, get this thing shining. All right, so let me get started.
like I said, all these pores in this wood, it's going to sop it up. If you've never used this before, you put a ton of it on, let it sop it up. And then 10 minutes later, you come back and you wipe what's left on the outside smooth. So we're back and I light a little bit. It's uh, rather than I, I said I was going to put a couple coats over a few hours, I ended up doing three coats over three days, which is better because um, the tongue oil uh, that I'm using says to let it cure for 24 hours. So um, I'm out in Vegas. I think with the, with the dryness here and the heat, I probably don't have to go a full uh, 24 hours. But in this case, I did anyways. And I'm liking, I end up doing a third coat because I'm liking this new process. Um, I already have a great shine on this. Um, the bowl's looking really good. So I feel it's just gonna keep getting better from here. So from here on out, I'm going to sand with, I'm gonna start again with 320 grit. And then I'm gonna work my way up to 600 grit sandpaper. And then I'm going to put, I don't know, three or four coats of, I use a tongue oil polyurethane uh, mix. And it's a rub that I uh, make and I, uh, uh, I'm going to put on here. And then after that, I'll probably use a wax and buff it out to get it really shining. And uh, the reason I'm still going with tongue oil and the polyurethane mix is I really like the way that the tongue oil the oil penetrates the wood and really protects it. And then with the polyurethane, you get a nice coating on the outside that protects the outside of the wood. So I feel in and out, it will all be protected. But I think the bowl is coming out great. And let's continue on here. Thank you for watching part two of my video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out the website. The links are uh, provided. And thank you so much.